Hi. Uh, today, actually, in this video, we will talk about uh, the LDS uh, error. Uh, this devote I received that the customer complaint is uh, giving LDS uh, error. So we will turn on first. The devote is already on. Huh? If after we turn on, depot takes too long and totally cannot move and just at the stop at one position and the side are turning, turning, turning and it will take more than 30 seconds, it means that there is something wrong with the sensors. Maybe the anti-drop sensor or maybe the LDS. But whatever the issue, depot will give you the message that what is the reason, what is the problem with the depot. Then easily you will understand that which part is faulty, how to replace that one. I will show you how to take that one. So after a few seconds, less than one minute, I think it will, the depot normally gives the error that what is the issue, why the depot is not moving forward. So first of all, I want to show you here, and you can place some down here. The LDS, this one is actually the LDS, the laser distance My sensor. My laser distance sensor is blocked. Please clean it. My laser distance sensor is blocked. Okay, Please so clear. this is a laser distance sensor assembly. My laser we call... distance sensor is blocked. Okay, clear. I stop this one now. So, LDS means that the laser distance sensor assembly, the assembly which builds the map, wherever debut will move, it will keep turning, 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 and keep building the map. So, that is the reason actually, because the uh, LDS assembly is not turning, not building the map, that's why debut cannot see anything, it's totally blind, that's why it's stopped at one position. So from here we can see if this part is not turning as we show you in the video that when we power on so this assembly was not turning. Even I try with my finger I'm touching here it's stuck. So I hope that is just only something wrong with the bell. How to test this on uh, the LDS uh, sensor and uh, how we can uh, if, I mean see whether this one is turning or not. If it's not turning then how we can settle that minor issue at home. No need to send every time to the service center. And actually, uh, the one thing I let you know first, these videos and uh, how to test, if you can test at home, no problem, doesn't matter. But don't try to repair at home if there is a service center available nearby your area or in your country. So better, I suggest you to send the depot to your service center for repair if you confirm that which part is faulty. These videos, especially, actually, I make for those customers for in, uh, who are staying in those countries where there is no service center available like uh, India or uh, some other countries, Canada, not nearby the service centers available. So, so many customers asking me the question, this thing. So that is why I'm making this video so they can settle these minor issues at home and they know how to test and which part is faulty. So first of all, I let you know that uh, if uh, you're not yet subscribe my channel, so please subscribe my channel and uh, if you like this video, so please like this also and uh, share this video to your other friends who are using the depots. So this, uh, the top cover, here you can see there's a cut here. So this plate actually we can remove. We just put our fingers here, it's slightly harder but can. So, got these like locks actually, we can open these locks from here and from here. So you need actually this tuser and the tuser should be very sharp, this type. It's not the normal one, the very big one or uh, normally which we use for threading, not that type. We need the sharp one. Because why I need this sharp one? With the fingers, I cannot remove these rubber seals. It's very hard. So what I will do, the sharp one, I just put here, take out. Put here, take out. So these two rubber caps actually we remove already. So inside here, these two screw here. Make sure the black screw goes in here, the back one, and the white color screw, the silver color will go in here in front. So because the silver uh, screws are slightly shorter and the black one is slightly longer. So this is the difference only in the screws. So I remove. I just want to show you that if the LDS is totally not turning, there might be something wrong. The belt stuck or the belt break. So if the belt is broken, you can replace the belt if you can find the same belt or you can uh, see if the service center people, they can provide you the belt, you can replace that one, no problem. So after we fix, uh, no, I already opened, there are four screw, one, two, three and four. This four screw, no, we can take out this cover. So this cover is slightly, uh, we can just pull up this a little bit, can remove from here. So no, the top cover is here. Okay. 
uh, actually the one thing I let you know that uh, because I know that how to remove this one is easy for me but there are actually here you can see there are front clips so these one two three four these four clips actually touch uh, when something uh, for example the debut go under the sofa so this part press like that so these two work they press the sensor down there this this button as you can hear this button and if uh, the debut stuck somewhere uh, like the sofa is not higher enough and it go like that and touch so these two clips this is the bigger one they press these buttons inside here you can see here these buttons this button so if these clips uh, when while removing this one break then this uh, i mean the debut will not those those sensors will not work so that is why whenever if it's stuck for you and you it's not easy for you to remove so i don't suggest you to open like that and try at home so but if easily you can do like that just pull up a little bit like that from here and then you can take out from here so once we remove all these uh, springs before you removing anything the springs or the wires i suggest you you take a picture so that uh, when you want to fix it back so you know that uh, which spring where to put which wire need to connect there easy for you this is the normally actually we suggest for customer so okay now we see where yes this one is stuck already it's not turning let me see got anything inside here Let me remove the belt first. The belt uh, looks okay. Uh, yeah, there is something drop here. So okay, once uh, we remove uh, this belt already. So now I show you here. Actually, is uh, these two items I find inside here. The one is a stepper bullet here, and the other one also I can see here is this one's I think the, some the plastic part go inside here and stuck there. So these two parts stuck with the LDS assembly. No. Is you can see easily can turn no issue. So I just put back the belt. There's one more. Where? Oh wait. Yeah, there's another one I can see here. Yeah. Done already. Yeah. There's no more. One more. Yeah. This is minor issue. These three parts we taken from here. No, we pass over. Okay, so now before I put back this uh, belt, I try to clean this one first, the assembly from the side, because uh, sometimes the dust also can. You can use actually any normal uh, the cotton bud to wipe these two from inside. So these two eyes, the laser eyes, actually the one gives the signal and the other one catch the signal, catch back. So then it uh, build the map and can sense that uh, how far is the optical and uh, all the objects. Okay, so now I just put back the belt here. Okay, the belt actually will go, you can see here, this part some actually the belt not uh, no, uh, don't, uh, don't put the down there you can put here you can see the something like pulley here we can put the belt here and here attach these two parts so how i put back here you can see you turn one round once it attached properly, then you just turn whatever the, I mean, the turn inside will be okay, normal, becomes at its own position. So without uh, fixing all these parts, we can test whether the this part is now turning or not once we turn on. Once the debut on, and after a few seconds, once this stop, I this, uh, the light, the power light, the stop blinking, this laser LDS assembly should be turned. If it's turning, it means that our problem solved, the debut will move forward. So I will show you before I fix back all the parts. Yes. So whatever the small, small objects, uh, these two objects I show you was I find inside. One is the stepper bullet and one there's a small plastic uh, Piece actually I think these two parts uh, go in from here somewhere and stuck inside so now if I press this button the board will start moving if it start before that I show you uh, before I open that the board was not moving forward and uh, we wait few seconds and after that it gives a message that uh, LDS please check my LDS assembly so I am 
Lord giving message, I am re relocating and uh, please wait. So after a few seconds, depot will start moving. Hundred percent confirm, depot will move forward because whatever the problem, the issues we solve already. So just wait few seconds. Yes, no debug can move. So this is uh, how we can test the LDS assembly and if it's just a minor issue, the LDS is not turning or uh, the bells break, how you can test uh, and how you can settle this minor issue at home. If, uh, again, I request you that uh, if the service center is available in your country or nearby your area, better you send the debug to service center for testing for fixing. If there is no service center in your country or nearby areas, uh, then only you can try to set this one like that at home. So hopefully you like this video uh, and if you want to know how to fix it back, then you have to watch this video until end. So now I am going to fix it back. And these uh, three springs I have here. These three springs actually is uh, we put so this cover can like bounce back. So that's why we have to put back uh, one uh, spring here and the other one is uh, here. And the third one we put here and how to put back this cover it's uh, slightly uh, you can say maybe it will be difficult but it's not uh, impossible uh, you see here there's a shape one is a curved one and the one is a plane the curved one we will go in front so from here I show you hold like that put the this one here this one here and then let it go in here that's all simple so once you put here, so make sure it's uh, it can. That's why we put the spring when we press down, so it bounces back. So now the silver screws, I inform you that we have to put in front the silver one because the silver screws are slightly shorter. And the black one is slightly longer. So these two screws put here. It will take only few minutes to set up. Okay, how to fix back this rubber? Actually, the rubber also you have to follow the shape. Otherwise, you cannot put it back properly. The one is uh, the bigger cut here, you can see. And the one is the down, the smaller one. The smaller one go in here, you can see. There's a hole here. The smaller lock, the rubber cap will go in here and lock this part. And the bigger one will lock this side. So, we, the smaller one... We follow this shape the smaller one will go in here and then just press the smaller one in front put here the bigger one is at the back and then just put down lock this one and these locks actually uh, here the plates we just uh, follow these locks uh, shapes we just put here first okay we put here because this one is only the lock clip, nothing else. So now the depot is settled already. This one, no need to replace the LDS assembly. Just the belt, uh, the LDS assembly was stuck due to this, uh, these two small objects. So after we remove all these and do some general service, no, okay, no problem. If I run the depot here downstairs, easily can move, no issue, no problem. So if you like this video, so please uh, subscribe my channel and share this video to other friends also who are, whoever is using this EcoX.